Hey guys, Moki here with another video. I'm just talking. I'm just getting through it. <laughs> Today's not that good of a day. I got into my head. You know, you know how that goes. Everyone does it, right? I was just having like a normal day, listening to some music, vibing. Uh, start off with great music. And then Adele came on. I fucking love me some Adele. Okay. Um, but one of, th there's a, there's a couple of her songs that I struggle with emotionally. Because the meaning behind the song, her meaning as well as mine personally, and how it fits my, uh, situation, uh, really just like, I don't want to say it fucked me up, like, I went down bad, but, you know, I got emotional, I started crying, you know, and of course this all, as you all know, this all revolves around my dad, because I still fucking think about him, <laughs> very much so, you know, it hurts, and listen, I don't care to talk to my dad, or reach out to my dad, or try to get him to come back, you know, like, he's gone, and that's fine. You know, he made his decisions, he's rolling with it, he's sticking with it, and that's cool. I'm not crying because I miss him. I'm crying because I know what it is, but I don't know how to put it in words. Like, when I cry, I'm not like, oh my god, I wish my dad was here. I mean, who the fuck doesn't? You know, like, would it be great if my dad was still here? Yes. <laughs> yes. Do I want him back? No. But do I miss what was? Or, you know, it's like the reminiscing of what was. Dude, my dad's gone. <laughs> you know, like, he, he left us. He abandoned us. Like, he's gone. Like, how the fuck do you think I'm doing? People literally say, I mean, he's gone. Get over him. He left in February. What the fuck does that mean? First of all, you don't tell a bitch how to grieve. You don't tell a bitch how long to grieve. You don't do things like that. You don't. You simply be there for them. You just simply fucking be there for them. And I had a conversation with one of my best friends, one of my very good friends, um, a while back. I think it was like last month. And, you know, she was like, you know, you don't call, you don't check up on me anymore, you don't hang out with me anymore. Listen, because I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. You know why? Because there is no one here to help us, my mom and myself, through what the fuck we're going through. Nobody. I got my mom's back and my mom got my back. No one else. No one else. So, you know, it's not an, it's not a personal, I don't give a fuck, you know, or it is personal. It's personal on my part, but it's not a hateful, I don't give a fuck. Someone's going to ask you how you're doing and then you tell them and then we move on and then they move on. You know, no one's in here trying to have an in-depth, for real, emotional conversation with you. No one's ever trying to pull you to the side and be like, yo, let's fucking talk about it. You tell someone how you're doing and they're like, oh, I'm sorry. Mm. Anyways, here's what's going on with me. You know what I mean? Like, I don't have time for that. I don't have time for the foolishness. If you don't give a fuck, just say so. And you don't even have to say it. I know you don't give a fuck. That's why I don't talk about it. So I can't stand when people ask me how I'm doing. That was a bit of a rant. I do apologize. But I can't stand when people ask me how I'm doing. Like, I'm not doing okay. <laughs> I'm not doing okay. Like, I'm emotionally fucked up. I'm depressed. I'm like, all these things... But I'm just going to smile and tell you I'm fine because you're not going to fucking sit here and try to pull me to the side and help me work through it. There's no one here helping me work through anything on a daily basis. Sorry you heard my phone. I grabbed my phone because I, I knew it was going to go off when I started making a video. So I made sure to put it by me. But I didn't think to put it on silent. Let me do that real quick. Anyway, as you can see, I'm very aggravated and I'm very on edge. I'm sure this is normal and my friends, my genuine friends, I know they're going to understand because I was a little snappy with some people today and of course I'm going to talk to them about it, you know, because that's the kind of person I am because I'm fucking grown, I'm fucking communicative, I do that shit, I fucking talk to people, you know what I'm saying? I know that kind of contradicts what I just said, but 
in the sense of the word of if there's a problem, I'm going to talk about it. That's me. But if I just know you're just not asking me how my day is, but not really going to sit here and give it a time of day to give a fuck, then, you know, I'm not going to talk. But anyways, listen, we are so fucking human and the pain that we feel is so real. And I'm just trying my hardest to work through this pain because it fucking hurts. Imagine waking up every fucking day and your heart is just stabbed and getting stabbed over and over and over and over. Every day I'm waking up and I'm removing those fucking knives. Every fucking day. And for the majority of the time, I can fake it so well. I fake it on my socials. I post all this happy stuff. And really, I'm not. I'm fucking sitting here just like boohooing. You know what I'm saying? Deep inside. Deep inside. Like my outer shell, I can play it well. I let so many fucking people walk all over me. And I don't know why. I don't. People will sit here and fucking tell me, you are so important, you are so cool, I wanna keep you in my life, but then turn around and do crazy mean shit. And it's like, why do I put up with that? After my dad, I become a cold hearted bitch cold hearted bitch you can say something wrong to me and i will fucking x you out of my life period i won't fucking tell you why you don't have to be told why because first of all we're all grown here and you know what you're doing period you know what the fuck you're doing so i ain't gotta tell you what you're doing because you already know all i need to let you know is you ain't never gonna see me again because i ain't gonna put up with that bullshit period in the short time period from my dad leaving to now i have cut a handful if not a fucking dozen people out of my life Some people don't even know. Some people don't even some people don't even know that the last time they spoke with me or saw me was the last time they would ever see me or speak with me. And that's kind of like self-care in some senses. Some people deserve it. Okay? There are certain people in your life who fucking deserve just to to be axed. Not told why, not talked to, not ever seen again. Just simply axed. It's an aggressive video for 15 minutes. I do apologize. We all have bad days. We do. We all have bad days. We're all only human. And pain hurts. And people, we as humans, we all heal our pain in different ways. My mom holds it together so fucking well. And I just know deep inside she's fucking gutted and broken and but you you would never tell you would never tell just by looking at her obviously i'm going to have to go through it to get through it right <laughs> there's definitely no fucking rainbows without a thunderstorm so i have to get through it and i will get through it but damn i recently had dreams about my dad you know and just all this shit like clearly he is i don't want to say he's heavy on my mind but he is. I don't want to say it, but he is. You know, he has to be. Clearly, in my subconscious, if I'm thinking about him, if I'm dreaming about him. Is that the right word? Uh, anyway. I don't, I don't know, you know. I don't know. I know I'm gonna be okay. Tomorrow's a whole new day. Um, I'm gonna go to sleep. And I'm gonna wake up. It's gonna be a whole new day. But right now, whew, man, oh man, there's so much I want to say to make it so less confusing for you all, if it's confusing, but I don't think now's the time. Again, it's a lot of behind the scenes stuff. So, but we're getting through it. <laughs> we are. We are. We're trying. I am trying my best to give my best. Maybe I'm just exhausted. Maybe I'm just tired. I, I do so much for so many and yeah, my body is just like, bitch. <laughs> my mind, my mental, my emotional, my God. Maybe I just need a good cry. I can't wait for the day where I'm okay. 
I'm okay now. But I want to be like, A-okay. And I know that's going to take time. But fuck. <laughs> I have patience, but not a lot, you know? Mm. I just know one day. I hope. I'm going to meet someone. And they're going to be all fucking mine. And I can't wait for them. I really can't. I know I have to because God making me. But I can't wait for them. I don't know who. I don't know where. And I don't know when. And I sure as fuck don't know why. <laughs> I know there's someone out there who's like... It's going to be crazy about me. And I'm not going to fucking worry about... Anyone trying to take them from me? God, at least I hope not. You know, that's why I don't date. Mm, mm -mm. I can't date. Mm. I will flirt and fuck around, but you gotta be some kind of special for me to date. Um, yeah. It's nice to talk. It is so nice to talk. And it's so fucking nice when people want to genuinely talk to you. And I think that's why so many of my YouTube videos are, are just me talking. Because I'm just trying to fucking talk. Talk through, talk out of this situation. So. That's that on that. I have to go cook dinner. So I'm gonna go do that. And I'm gonna edit this video and look back on it. Y'all may have a video, you all may not have shit. <laughs> but regardless, nonetheless, I love you all so much. I want to thank you all for constantly sticking around and supporting me and just being here. Um, even if you're a silent viewer or a secret Santa or whatever you want to call it, I appreciate you. Even if you just watch to hate, I appreciate you. I love you wholeheartedly. <laughs> I'll see you on the next video. Mokey out. Bye.